traps that are used are uh, they are selective in a sense that uh, you, you really can target one particular species that's going to get caught in a particular trap or the way it is set. This is very important. It's not the trap itself sometimes, but the way it's set. Uh, this is really what makes it selective. For example, if I had to capture some raccoon and I want to avoid, uh, if I have to, to do it around buildings and I know there's some cats or dogs around there, well, it's very easy for me as a professional trapper is to set the trap in such a way that I will be all very selective and capture only raccoons. It could be done by the shape of the trap, it could be done by the bait you're going to use. For example, if I use sardine, <laughs> of course I will attract uh, cats in my trap. But if I use, for example, a certain smell that will attract only uh, raccoons, made out of raccoon glands, well, I will get only the raccoons, I won't get the cat in there. So there are different ways to be very selective, but a professional trapper will know exactly what to do in order to be selective. <music>